Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm very excited to do another makeup haul today. It's been a while since we did a good makeup haul. If you guys have not seen the new images and videos for Mac's new collection, Flamingo Park, you gotta go over to their Instagram and watch it because I'm so obsessed. So pretty much a new collection just came out and it's so springy. It's even great for Valentine's Day. I just think it's so vibrant. There's a lot of pinks, um, even a little bit of green. It's basically like flamingos, parks, and recreation. Where's Leslie? Nope. <laughs> that was a bad joke. But I think the colors are so vibrant, but they can also be played up as very soft if you want to. I use the colors today, and I think this look is so soft and springy. And I'm going to show you guys the collection, do some swatches for you, but also tell you what products I use to create this look here. Um, if you can kind of see on my eyes up close here, I use like soft pinks on the top and then a bit of green on the bottom. And I think this look is so springy, and I love this lip, um, the blush, this highlight, all from the collection. I'm going to show you guys, so sit tight, grab a snack, let's dive in. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the products that I am wearing on my face today to get this awesome, soft look. It's kind of different for me, too. I don't often go for, like, fun colors like this. It kind of shows that you can plan them up in a more soft way because they might look intense, but you can either go, like, really fun and fierce with them, or you can play them down like this and be kind of soft. So this new palette... Oh, I'm so obsessed with okay so this is the new Flamingo Park eyeshadow palette by nine this is what I used on my eyes today um, and it's really easy to create a soft look with this so I took this color on my lid and mixed it with this and then I put a little bit of this in the crease here just to kind of deepen it up a little bit but the colors are so soft and like creamy they just feel really really good on the skin and then I took some of this green color on that bottom lash line just to add a little pop of fun color and I don't know I think it makes the eye look really pop and a little mascara and you're good to go so another thing MAC had in their last collection too for fairy whispers were these beauty powders here and let me just say I have it on today as a highlighter and I think it makes the skin look so glowy and fresh and dainty and soft so this one is called pearl blue Blossom. This is the one that I'm wearing today on my cheeks. Mm, so, so gorgeous. If you want like a lot of lumi luminosity, lumosity, what is, the, what is the word? If you want a great glow to your skin in a very feminine way, this is a great way to do it. Just adds a very beautiful glow on the skin. And for blush, I am wearing the color Spring Flock, which is a beautiful kind of peachy rosy color, which is absolutely one of my jams. I'm all about like peachy rosy blushes and I think this complements the skin really beautifully. And on my lips from the collection I'm wearing a combination of one of the lipsticks and glosses put together. Um, there's some really intense lipsticks which you'll see soon but this one's a lot more soft. This one is called uh, can't read I guess long-legged and fabulous so you're gonna see a lot of flamingo springtime references here. So this is the color lipstick I am wearing super gorge i oh i love this and you can kind of sheer it out with a little gloss if you want to and this is the gloss i'm wearing it is called such sweeties a really beautiful pale pink that you can pop on any lipstick and they will add like a nice little something something to it so i'm going to jump into everything else from the collection now it's a pretty big collection and there is a lot of variety of pink purple a lot of fun tones shall i say the first thing i'm kind of obsessed with is the nail polish it's called spoonful of sugar and it looks like this here. As you can see, it's basically like a clear pastel color with lots of little, almost snowflakey looking things and glitter. Um, it's really gorgeous. I think this would look great piled on top of a different color or even by itself if you want something more subtle. Oh, guys, the blushes in this collection are so to die for. I'm very excited about these. So let me go ahead and show you um, the other ones besides the one I'm wearing. This color is called This Could Be Fun. Are we dying? I don't know what it is about this. I'm obsessed with it. Like, ugh, I don't know. I think it's the funnest color. So perfect for spring. Like a soft eye and a subtle lip and just let your cheeks pop and you can just go crazy with this. Next one here is called Life's a Panic. Actually, let me do a little swatchy watchy for you. So this is the color here just so you guys can get a better feel for it on the skin. Looks like this. And if you are freaked out by these, um, there are different variations of matte or a different finish. These are both mattes. This one is called Life's a Picnic. Again, beautiful for spring. I like that we're going a little bit more bold. I think we've been a lot about like subtle blushes over the last few seasons, so it's going to be kind of fun to switch it up and be a bit more extravagant with our blushes. Oh, this is so gorgeous. 
So this one here is this blush. The next one here is called Let's Be Friends, and this one's a satin finish. So slightly less matte. And I almost feel like this one's in between those two. But let's do a little swatch. Oh, these feel so, so good. Yeah, see, the mattes are a lot more pigmented. I feel like this one's a little bit more sheer if you want something a little more subtle and a little more of like a natural satin finish, but the colors are still to die for. And lastly, we have What I Fancy, which is also a satin finish. And this one's um, for you guys who are a little bit more subtle and are a little freaked out by like those, you know, bright colors. But one thing I have to say is like, it feels really good to step outside your makeup comfort zone. Like today, I ne I hardly ever put colors on my eyes besides like taupe. Like I'm all about like plain eye colors. So it feels really nice to branch outside your comfort zone sometimes. So um, if these blushes like look scary, give them a try even like at the counter and see how you feel. But like I said, this one's called What I Fancy. And this would be beautiful if you want something a bit more subtle but still a little pop of spring. Yeah, this one is really pretty. Like a very, very dainty and soft. Just a tiny bit of something, something. Okay, so now we're gonna dive into the lipsticks and the lip glasses. Oh, these lipsticks are amazing. So there is a lip pencil with the collection and it is called Embrace Me. This is the lip pencil here. The color is super duper pigmented and you can pretty much mix them with any of the lipsticks in the collection I find. Um, I think they are all like doable to do with it if you want to like ombre it out or blend them together. All right, so this first color is called Be Silly and it's a matte. Oh, those two colors obviously are super duper similar. So that is the first shade. Oh my God. Ugh, guys, if you are a pink girl, you're going to die over this collection like I did. This shade is called Silly. It's almost a little bit more of a peachy undertone to it, but it's still like a nice pink right here oh to die for to die for oh, you guys could probably count how many times i say to die for in this video oh. this next color is called have your cake another matte finish Ooh, yes yes this one almost reminds me of a springtime version of heroin here so beautiful love that for all you heroin people out there you're gonna want to go ahead and grab this lipstick too because mm, Porch. This next shade is called Flocking Fabulous. I love these names. Mac always has the funnest names with their collections, which is this color here. And this one is a cream sheen finish. So if you're someone who likes a bit more hydration on the lips, um, nothing as drying as a matte, but still a lot of color, this one is really pretty and a little bit more on that red peachy side. And lastly, we have Nice to Meet You, which is also another cream sheen. And this one is pretty much more of a classic red if you want something a bit more classic and it will still give you that cream sheen finish so you don't have to worry about it drying out your lips but some of us like myself <laughs> love mattes and I'll do a little swatch of the um, lipstick that I am currently wearing if you want to see it on the hand right here on the end so these colors are we dying I am dying grab a blush and a lipstick and call it a day. Next we have lip glasses that go with the collection as well. So as I said, I was wearing um, such sweeties here. Next we have the color Petite Indulgence, which looks like this. Such a pretty pink with still a lot of pigment. These are all, um, I think these are all cream sheens. Yes. So if you like a nice creamy feel on the lips and the color pigment is beautiful, these are for you. <clears throat> Excuse me. The next color here is called Playful Petal. And this is actually also a cream sheen glass, but it has um, a sparkle to it. So if you can see that beautiful metallic-y kind of finish on it. This one is a really fun color. Um, I hope the camera picks it up right. Um, you can kind of see it here. It's a pastel pink, but it has little um, iridescent flakes of sparkle to it. So when you turn in the light, you see that hint of purple pick up. Tiny, tiny flecks of like iridescent sparkles. It's so gorgeous. I think it's starting to snow. And lastly, we have a very classic like salmon-y flamingo color, which is called Sweet Tooth. And this also has a tiny bit of sparkle to it, a little bit of gold, 
but like that's such a classic flamingo kind of color. And although I already showed you the eye palette, I thought I'd go ahead and swatch some of the colors too so you can kind of see them a little bit better. I like that this has a nice combination of like mattes and shimmer to it. I think you get a lot of diversity. We've had some beautiful palettes at MAC, but it's kind of nice to see these little by nines with some really interesting, unique colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these for ya. We're moving up on the arm. Actually, let me switch hands so you can see it better. So it's just this beautiful soft tone pink, which is awesome for a base color. Really beautiful. I'm gonna move it down now to this pinky tone. Kinda just adds a little bit more color. And then this color is so gorgeous. I'm really excited to play around with this one too. It's more of like a dusty purpley gray and it has a little bit of shimmer to it. And then this color here would be also great for like a base color. And there's so much pigment to these, they're insanely gorgeous. And then this middle shade here is one I also love that I had on my lid, up, actually up in my crease a bit. Looks like this. And then this would be an awesome color if you like to go a little bit more chocolatey, 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 and smoke out the outer corner, or even you could use it kind of lightly as a crease color. Lots of pigment in that brown. The green was like one of my absolute favorite shades. I'm running out of fingers to swatch. I love this green. It's very pastel. You can pack it on if you want a lot of color or if you want to use like a little bit. It's very subtle and beautiful. This color I wish I had actually used too on my eye because you could really deepen it up with like a fun pink like this because um, that's a really fun matte pink. And then this color, like to reflect like the lake and the park, Flamingo Park, I love that they included all the colors that would be in a park with flamingos. Like you have your grass, your water, your dirt, <laughs> and your flamingos. Like I just think it's really a cute concept. Um, let's swatch this blue with my thumb. Ooh, girl, look at that blue. That is literally like the water. I need a makeup remover wipe. Yeah, there's a lot going on on my hands, guys, a lot. But I am so happy about this collection. I think it is so springy, right in time for Valentine's Day. You can go out and try some of it. Um, and going into spring, like, it's there's such springy color, springy. And I also wanted to quickly swatch this beauty powder on my hand because it's, oh, so gorgeous. Like, do you see? Do you see that? Like, when you turn, it's just, like, glow, glow. Anyway guys, that's going to do it today for my little MAC haul. I'm really excited. I always get stoked when new collections come out. I know you guys too. So hopefully you enjoyed this and you're going to check some of it out. Comment down below which was your favorite that you like to see from this collection. And I love you so much. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe because I'll be back very soon. You're beautiful. I love you. Bye.